Six and oh now, the win over VCU, just kind of break this one down for us, your thoughts and impressions. Uh, did not play Louisville field hockey, and we won. Um, that's it in a nutshell, to be perfectly honest. I was uh, flabbergasted at how we played in the first half. Incredibly disappointed. Um, and uh, for half time, sure, second half we played a little bit uh, more like Louisville field hockey. But right now we're getting in our own way. It does not feel like 6 and 0, to be honest. Um, we certainly, to be a championship team, we've got to play more than 18 minutes of hockey. That wise, you kind of dominated this one from a statistical point. Uh, a couple of things that maybe could have gone for you goal wise. Uh, offensively, you were on the push, so they just wouldn't go in for you. Yeah, well, the first half, um, I'm not sure what the first half stats were, but I don't necessarily think that we did that well in the first half um, from an attacking point of view. Um, we isolated, anytime we got the ball, they were left alone. We isolated the ball carrier. There was not a lot of support around that ball carrier. So we were unable to generate any sort of uh, opportunities offensively. Um, but equally, defensively, our work rate was, um, as, as one of our captains said, trash at half time and um, and so then they picked up the work rate and started to apply more pressure on VCU as well. So um, not taking away anything from VCU, uh, but really we were our biggest opponent today on the field. What's the message uh, to the girls after just, you know, just got to be better? Yeah, figure it out. We have enough seniority. We have uh, eight seniors or fifth year seniors and they've been there, done that. And they're getting in their own way um, for whatever reason, you know, whether it's personal stuff, um, whether they're fatigued, whether they're playing a position or not getting the touches that they want, they become internal and they start to become very individualistic. So the only the reason that we will not be successful this year, it will be because they're getting in their own way. We are talented enough, we're smart enough, we have great leadership, but we've got to uh, be consistent with that. So um, they were given a pretty firm message and I trust that they'll come out fire, fired up for, for next weekend against Carolina. Does that sometimes take a while to figure out for teams? Um, yes. Um, if you're asking me this question next year, yeah, I could say it should take time and it will take time. But this year, um, we have all the pieces in place. And so we've got to step up, stand up. We prepare them during the week. But when they cross that white line, they need to do the work. They need to recognise it and they need to be able to adjust and adapt depending on the opponent that we're playing against. We have the players to be able to figure it out. They've just got to do it. Minute for Mati with the goal winner. She's the fifth year for you. you got to be taking it for her. Um, yeah, no, I'm happy. Uh, we talk often about um, it's not the goal scorer, it's the assist. Um, and Kazzy did a great job in the circle. She was about to shoot on her backhand. And we were all thinking on the sideline, please do not do that. And she turned strong and Minna was where, exactly where she needed to be. And it was an easy tapping goal. So um, yeah, it was nice to finish overtime that quickly, but uh, you know, very disappointed that we had to get to overtime. You mentioned Kaz with, with the goal winner assist today. She, she's kind of been the backbone for this team in a lot of ways this year, hasn't she? Yeah, she has. And you know, we had to change how we wanted her to play today because people are scouting her or scouting us and when she's receiving the ball there's three four five people around her and people stop moving and so we wanted her to get the ball further up the field today which she did um, but um, we were struggling to have that 360 degree support um, around any other ball carrier so um, I'm super stoked that she stepped up on that penalty corner because that goal was exactly what we needed at that time do the cars take this one two to one, coach? I know you got to be happy about this one, go back and celebrate it, and congratulations on it's still undefeated season. Thank you very much.